Hello book nerds! Welcome to Bookshelf Bunny, I'm Kim, and today we'll be doing a review on Terra Nova by MTG. Hey guys! So... I've finished reading my second indie author of the year. I read Terra Nova by MTG. This is a fabulous YA fantasy novel, and I really enjoyed it, you guys. I really enjoyed it. Good job, MTG. Uh, I'll post some links in the description below. You can find more from MTG online at Instagram. Uh, you can also find her website for more information. Um, she is published through Ingram Spark. So if you go to Ingram Spark's website and search out her book, you can find it there as well. I purchased mine off of Amazon and I'll be posting a link in the description below. Um, I am an Amazon associate or whatever <laughs> it's called. So if you do choose to purchase a copy of her book, please use her link. If you want to show me some love, I'll get a little bit back from that. Uh, I believe they give out like gift cards. You earn and then you get money via gift cards, which I will then use to purchase more books. Ha. So if you want to uh, support my addiction, purchase your copy that way. That'd be fabulous. Support her and myself. Let's dive into it, you guys. So good, you guys. When I finally had some time to sit down and really get focused <laughs> and read, then this story just took me away. So it follows our protagonist by the name of Evangeline, a high school girl who discovers a blood condition, a unique blood condition. And this blood condition also turns out to be sort of potential savior for a world filled with vampire people. How do you not want to read a book about a world filled with vampire people, honestly? <laughs> So Evangeline ends up in this world. Um, she ends up kind of falling for one of the vampire people because what book doesn't have a fun little romance twist? What YA novel doesn't have that? Um, there's also hints at a coming love triangle. This is the first book of a series. MTG is currently working on the second book as we speak. So I will be eagerly awaiting that. And the characters are dynamic and believable. They will really make you feel like they're your friends. Even the vampire people, who by the way are amazing creatures. <laughs> they are so cool. The description on them and their world is on point. Guys, this is an amazing story. Um, our protagonist ends up in this world. She ends up discovering that they're searching for a cure to their condition. They call it a condition. And I don't, want, I don't want to give too much away. You really have to read it to get the, the nuggets that I'm hinting at here. But she discovers that they've been holding out hope for someone from their world who crossed over into our world. And they are hoping this person has the cure to their vampirism condition. In order to, and it's a really unique type of vampirism, you guys, really unique. These people can survive off of animal blood, but it doesn't have the same nourishing effects as human blood. So they're alive, but they're like in a state of half-life. They're <clears throat> physically wrinkled and gray and grotesque. But if they drink human blood, they are themselves. They look human again. Um, so they're surviving off of like chickens and pigs that they're kind of cultivating in a big farm. And this is what's sustaining them while they hold out hope for this cure. And the other side of the condition is the hunger is so all-encompassing that it slowly eats at their minds. And so long as they can hold on to a thread of humanity, some sort of something to give them hope for the future, something to work for, they can persevere. But there's always that will today be the last day, uh, sort of feel to their lives. They um, engage in activities to try to keep their minds off their hunger. They're constantly learning, they're cleaning, they're toiling, they're working, anything 
to keep their minds off that hunger. Loved this type of vampire creature. It's sort of sad, but also, you know, because of this hunger, <laughs> they are vicious, vicious monsters. And if it gets the better of them, that's it, they're toast. You know, the victim is, is, doesn't stand much of a chance. So thoroughly enjoyed this story. The plot was bang on, the characters were amazing. The vampire creatures love the concept, so cool. The story just will take you, it will grab you, and it will just bring you into Evangeline's life and then into this world that she now feels responsible for. She wants to save it. She des desperately wants to save it. I don't want to go on too long. <laughs> I try to keep my reviews pretty short and to the point, but I loved this book. This was a five out of five read for me. It's an amazing debut novel by MTG. Check her out get your copy, read it. I can't wait for the second book to be finished. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Has anyone else read Terra Nova by MTG? And if you did, what were your thoughts? All right, book nerds, that's it for me. And as always, happy reading.